I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. If you're ready, we leave at once. You are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back.
anybody home? This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. <laughs> Things I do for you. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way.
ready? You know what you have to do. Oh, I'll well, bring you down. What can I interest you in today? Always welcome here in Lost Wing. Seen troops in my side every morning. Editors started reading books that don't have any. Hasn't been a usual self lately. Mid might need some help tidying up. Oh, catch your death sleeping out here. Lovely breeze, isn't it? recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. 
Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah. Well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even before the Dragoon. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, Perhaps I shall speak to them. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of... Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too.
So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the... So, Clive, and who will accompany you? Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. My knowledge is yours. I have a few new notes that might interest you. This, I believe you will find most interesting. What subject shall we consider today? Is it business or pleasure? Coin purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. Better I'll be here. Finished, are you? Life. 
What do you want? Where's Jill? And what can I do for you? Come back again! Them pooches nice and chilled. I won't have you. Are those papio nuts? How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Touch anything. And thanks for nothing. I interest you in today. I trust it's all here. Keep fighting the good That's fight. That's everything. Let's see how Jill. What's going on? Find everything. I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool.
But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here... Rem Do you remember... ...walking down Market Street in Rosalith... ...taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry-cured ham, and it was just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too.
wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obolus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice. Just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Well, I'd better go and give Mid the good news then. Gorping. Coin purse weighing you down. I'm thankful you got that much. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Finished, are you? And what can I do for you? Finished, are you? What do you need? So, what would it be?
Anything else? started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Think Mid might need some help. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid, but you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is... You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew he's supervising the... Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just... Right, then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the big... <laughs> everyone that's one down and just three more to go i'm sorry oh didn't i tell you the enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each you don't mean <laughs> don't worry now they've got a finished one to work off my gang in canva can build the rest good luck to them i say right i'm off to get a sling for this elbow any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? She was building a ship.
how a hero returns. You and I. What? Alas. Still. You and what? Alas. Still. Ours is a... At least... So... You and I... What? Alas... Still... That was your... As for me... Try not Mr. to die. Mr. says Drake's fang has fallen. Does that mean the furnace is going to stop working? Maybe. So shut your trap and get that... I'll make a master smith of myself someday. And hopefully, make myself useful to Master Lubor someday sooner.
this one. Come on. Thanks, girl.
to ride from here. Come on.
can walk from here.
Damn vultures. Preying on the trade caravans. You've picked the wrong target. <laughs> Let's go. Straight home now. There was a time this path was guarded day and night by Lord Kupka's men. But now they've gone. Back to the Fang. Leaving us lesser mortals at the mercy of whatever bloodthirsty beasts they say nested beyond.
time to fight. This is no time to ride. Boy. No use calling Ambrosia now. This will be easy. Yeah.
Ready, go? Time to fight. I can walk from here.
straight home now. do you go? Hello, a lot of stuff I gotta do. But I'm back at playing Final Fantasy 16. Sorry, I've been gone for a week. I was actually um, on vacation. We went to just basically just um, try something else out. Um, so went to Las Vegas, uh, Los Angeles, and finally figured out what's going on over there. It was pretty nice. There's some weird places over there and some weird things, but for the most part, we enjoyed it. And yeah, so let's continue in the game. This is going to be episode 13, part 2, where I was in the desert last night. I played for a little while, not very long, because it was late. I was just trying to find some of these, uh, um, some of these uh, hunts that I was looking for. So I'm going to actually look up to see where they're at, because I looked all around this land. And I could not find any of these hunts anywhere. So I'm going to look and see where these guys are at. So I'm actually going to go... Oops. I'm actually going to go back to... Oh, it's not it either. We're going to go back to the home. I'm 
sorry. Our PS5 controller sucks, so it has a, you know, um, moves to the right. Alright. So before I start talking to this blonde girl right here, I'm actually going to try to get these hums done. Just for, I want to be a full, fullest. Alright, so let's see these hunts. Alright, so this one is in the Valkyrie Desert. A hill to die on. Looks like what it is. So you get the location. Alright. Let's see here. Hmm. Alright, so let's do this one first, I guess. Alright, so let me go back out. Go back to where I was at. I believe it was here. Cool. One of my buddies already um, beat the game. I just want to kind of go a little bit further in here. All right, so it says this, my hunt location must be up here somewhere. Around here somewhere, so that's where I'm gonna head to. Let's see, maybe I gotta go this way to get over there, I don't know. Looks like it's that way, so let's make sure. Yeah, it is. All right, so this is the right location to do this at. Get my chocobo so I can get up there. This is the fastest way to travel through there. I definitely got to go through this area here. Now, I did walk through all this um, on episode or, or part one, and I could not find anything for the life of me. I think I gotta go around if I remember correctly. Or maybe I can just walk across, I don't know. I can just walk across, okay, so it, it's fine for me to go this direction. Got my doggo with me. Not messing with them. Already fought a bunch of these guys already. Oh, I need to go this direction here. And I don't fight chocobos anymore. I like the chocobos, so I try not to mess with them. So an item here, I wanna go ahead and grab this item. Yeah, all I'm doing is trying to hunt for these uh, monsters and defeat them, hopefully. Just dropped my phone. It's not good. I don't, like, I don't like scorpions, so I want to beat them, but I'm not doing that right now at this moment. Okay, so... It tells me this this direction here, but... i hop up here, or... Here I'm at. Maybe it's not up there. I think I do have to go. I do gotta go further than this, I guess. Alright, so let me go around. It shows me I gotta go more this way with it. You see an item right there? Is that what I need to fight right there? Maybe that's what I, oh, yep. Okay, so yeah, that's the first monster I gotta defeat, I guess. I don't know how I didn't see this last time. It's alright, though. It's a festival, festival, again. Oh, the real, however you say that. Let me pause it for a second, guys, before I start fighting him. Uh, get comfortable here. Okay.
Alright, so before I defeat this Joker... I'm not the wrong button. Joker here. It's tough, man. Wreck this joker. Still in time, bro. Joker. It's about flipping time. Joker was tough. Turtle. I don't like killing turtles, but I mean, sometimes they deserve to die. Just like this jack wagon did. Alright, so let me go back to where I was at. Let's see where the next hunt is.
Alright guys, um, so yeah, we just took a vacation for a week to Los Angeles because we've never actually traveled that far before out of the U.S., or still in the U.S., but I don't mean like traveling that far. See what the next monster is that I need to need to defeat this thing here. Oh, they're like um Okay, Soul Stringers. Soul Stringers is what the name of the next thing is. And the location for that one. Alright, so next location, next place I need to go to, it's back over here, I guess. We did cut quite a bunch of stuff whenever we were um, out there. We actually went to the Sequoia Forest, which was absolutely amazing. Just letting you all know, it was an amazing experience for us. Then we went to Yosemite, which it was all right. I mean, the best part of it was the 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 uh, falls, because here in Florida we don't really have many falls, you know. So it was nice to be able to do that. I don't know where the heck this is at. Kind of looking at it, like a foot thing, maybe. Maybe it's not here. I'm guessing. I just don't know. Where the heck is that? Yeah, a bigger map will show me. Oh wait. Maybe it is over, over there, so... Um, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Something's weird about this. Uh, go ahead and get out of there. What's that up there? A little town, I think. So, double foot is what I'll look at the, there. Down there? No. A double feet there. The hand of Dion, I don't know what that is either. Travel, I already defeated something up there. Maybe if I look over here. Looks like maybe I need to go this direction, possibly, or over here more, or I honestly don't even know where the heck. Yeah, there. No. You know, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try to maybe travel through here. Maybe no, because I remember. Okay, that's where it stops right there. Okay, maybe here. This looks like it might be somewhere I need to go. Maybe. You go from that direction. I'll try it and see. I don't know where this is at, so I'm just gonna travel this direction. Get my jaw. I don't even know if I'm going in the right location or not. This is where I defeated one of those boss monsters through here, but it's neither here or there. It was like a, it was like a, was like a ninja-looking guy, I guess. I really wish Jill was here with us. Jill is like one of my favorite characters in the in the game right now. What do these guys want. Thanks, Alright, so what do these guys want to fight or something? What y'all what's y'all's problem, bro? Just go. Now run. There we go. I like running fast. 
Should be getting close, I guess. Uh, uh, there's water down there. I can't run in water, so that's not gonna help me any. But, may oh, wait, I think I do see the little entrance thing over here. All right. Let me travel this way and see if maybe, by chance, this will bring me to where I need to go. I'm not certain though, so I'm not gonna make any promises. I, just, I don't think I've ever been this way before, so might have been blocked off or something, so I don't know. Looking around, making sure that everything's okay. Let's kill these little guys, because I've never fought anybody, any of the bad guys here, so even just a little guy will be fine with me. I'm at. Let me go downward first. Or, yeah, kind of south first. Should have got more high potions, but that's uh, fine. Got wrecked. I'm not certain what's over here, but we'll find out together, I guess. Oh, all the little monsters through here. Looks like just behind me is a little area. Yep, thought so. Gill, ten gill. That's all there's here. That's all is there. Just some gill. Plenty of gill. All right, so let's continue going forward then. I think if I'll get to play my video game, I haven't been able to play because my son's been stealing the PS5 or playing with his friends, but I need a, I need a little bit of game to play because I had a big day today and I'll just like to relax and not have to worry about it. <sighs> Work. Work sucks. And down, Joker. Joker. Maybe I'll just club and come and hide. What is going on over here? It's all this stuff. Little wolves. Oh, big wolf looking thing. Oh, there's the other. Oh, well, it's another hunt. Huh? 
A wild neck. I'm just going to be fighting these guys over and over again? What the heck? Got 
And I also got my um, also got my uh, a, a trophy from that. That wasn't the monster I was looking for, but that'll work. All right, so I can climb up here. Let me see. I guess I can climb up here. What does he got for me? Something hot hidden over here? I'm telling it's just this little thing. Marks. I have no idea when. Oh, look at that. Meteorite? Nice. Does that look like somewhere I can jump up to? Maybe. I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. I don't know if I can climb up here though. I don't think I can. can I climb up this way? Nah. Okay. I think I got everything I need from here, so let me run back. Can I use my chugaboo? I'm probably gonna use my chugaboo. It's probably a little too far back, anyways. I'm just gonna travel back. Let's continue. So that's two marks I've gotten so far from the ones I've been looking for since yesterday. Or part two, or part one. Alright, I already went through there, already defeated all of them. And now that I'm back over here, go get that up there. So the next location I'm going to probably hit is right here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Make sure I'm going to the right location. I am. I like going from the bottom to the top. It's just more pleasurable like that. These aren't wasps though. I'm looking for wasps. I'm gonna change my gear so that Torgold isn't like all up in my fighting. I don't, I don't know like him. I like this person to do his own thing. Alright. So, let me go get that item. And then, I'm gonna kind of change but I'm what, what I'm using here. I'll trade my Yeah, I don't want that. I want something else. Want uh sort these from Alright, so increases attack pro proficiency less ability to charge magic is when magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will not trigger unless the ability now increase attack by 12, 7, defense by 30. Was at the bottom of the barrel here. Amount of XP earned. Kill earn. 
two point potions will be used before high potions. No. Clad will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by some Oh, well, let's try that and see if that's any easier. Alright, so I get my steed back. Alright, so where am I? Okay, let's just continue forward, I guess. There's like a whole new area over here. I see something big over there, though. I wonder if that looks like a cow. They had defeated many cows before, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, you wanna fight me then, bro? Guess he wants to fight me then. Oh, that one. I like using that one. There's nothing over there. I'm not going to want to fight them. Dumb birds. Ooh, 
hoping to get some potions. Oh crap, go that way. Also snacking, so uh, forgive me for me, my ch chewing and stuff. Okay, so I went all the way that way. I'm gonna go around the other way. If I already defeated them. We fought a bunch of them. I'm not really gonna be too concerned with them right now. There we go. Hoping for some potions so I don't have to buy potions, which I don't mind usually. Try to go, I get not denied. What the heck? I'm getting boxes or nothing. I know there's a little area I wanted to go over there if I can. It's back here. Yep, that's uh, I thought that was, I thought it was a little area that was really weird. Meteorite, really? Accessible, inaccessible. There's a few more places here. Oh, I can kill this thing. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much of an issue.
safe. There it is. Two goblin coins. I'm really looking for potions, man. Ah, that might be where those those uh, bad guys are. Those uh, uh, what do you call them? The uh, wasps. Yeah, looks like it might be them. Yeah, good. I'm sure I can see these. These are the guys I was looking for, actually. So, trying to remember, I was, that's where I was at, right? Yeah, that's the Soul Stingers, which is the easiest, quickest way to go over there, though. It could be this way, I guess. It's about the same distance, either way. Oh, I heard my, um, pushes and stuff, though.
I should mount my horse, my steed, my bird. Come on. Yeah, I got my pushes back. Good. I could have defeated them, but I don't have any more potions. Oh look, a potion. Alright, so I'm gonna go this direction. direction I believe maybe looks like it is the location so yeah this is it okay just run this direction with it I run straight forward I should get there Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, we've been telling you about the new Marvels trailer here at the channel for the better part of two weeks, thanks to, in large part, to Twitter and Trailer Scoopster, Cryptic 4K Quality over on Twitter, who sometimes not only has updates about when the trailers are coming, but is able to rip still images, and in some cases, the full trailer, before Marvel drops them themselves. Now, we knew, according to him, it was going to drop in the next two weeks, starting last Saturday, and to be attached to Haunted Mansion in theaters. Well, now, coming from a separate industry inside source we know exactly when the brand new marvels trailer is dropping and it is right around the corner we're going to give you the latest update for that as well as talk a little bit about what's been revealed not only in the entertainment weekly marketing but the funko pops as well about their brand new power sets and what it means carol danvers next time we see her in an avenger seat we're breaking down the latest updates for the marvels trailer including exactly now when it's set to drop but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do take the marvel content at the channel and that's all we do everything from official easter egg breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between so if that sort of thing's for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway the next one is right around the corner to coincide with the finale of secret invasion next week again all you gotta do is sub leave a comment on this video if you want stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff by getting there okay so this latest update actually comes from industry insider daniel rpk or daniel rickman via his patreon he's another great follow and as i told you guys many times at the channel not only is he one of our most trusted industry insider sources he rarely misses that track record is even better when it comes to trailer releases he doesn't say they're coming when they're not coming but when he says they're coming they almost always do he has indicated that tomorrow night, Thursday night, early Friday morning, midnight Pacific time, so 3 in the morning if you're on the East Coast, which, why Marvel, why? They will be dropping the third Marvel's trailer. Now, technically, this is listed as the Marvel's trailer 3 because there was a slight edit of the first one, which made for a 1 and a 2, even though this is essentially the second trailer, and it's going to be over 2 minutes in length again, which means it is not just okay. a TV spot, and we will be doing a full Easter egg breakdown for that video here at the channel. Now, yesterday, you might have noticed that Entertainment Weekly went ahead and ran out their full promo, which means their marketing now over at Marvel Studios is starting up and going into full swing about three months out from the Marvel's release. And for any of you who are worried that they may be delaying this film because they have nothing going on in Hollywood right now, they absolutely won't be or they wouldn't be starting up their promo like this. Right, now I know there's so probably a lot of people who read the Entertainment here. Weekly article, but there's a very Just interesting sure. excerpt from the middle of it that talks about what's going on with their power set in the film. And this is coming from this an executive anything. producer, Mary Lovano. She goes on to say in the article, quote, Marvel was already thinking about a future payoff when including Monica as a smaller child of Captain Marvel. Always in the back of my head, it was a story based on family reconnection and how hard that can be to navigate, she says. Levanos notes that the idea of location swapping harkens back to early Captain Marvel comics from the 1960s, where Marvel, the first Captain Marvel, and human Rick Jones would swap places using magical Kree bracelets called the Negamans. Levanos remains tight lipped about exactly how Carol, Monica, and Kamala's powers became entangled together, but she notes that all three have light based abilities. Carol can absorb energy and shoot powerful photon blasts. Monica can manipulate all wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. And Kamala can hard life, which she uses to make 
giant fists or stepping stones in midair. Now, I want to go even one step further than that because the toys have started to come out for Captain Marvel, including the Funko Pops. And one of those Funko Pops gives us an extremely interesting look at Carol Danvers. Rather, Captain Marvel going what some of you may call Super Saiyan, but rather, it's actually her binary form. And this came from Can We Get Some Toes? Twitter scoops to confirmed it based on the photo book, confirming that the recent Funko leaks for the Marvels does in fact feature Carol's binary form. Now this is something we were hoping we'd see for a while because of its ties to an X-Men character, but unfortunately, given the current fabric of the MCU, it's looking like they may change some details here. But also back in the 80s, the early 80s Captain Marvel comics, Rogue ends up absorbing all of Captain Marvel's power. That was Avengers Annual 10. And when that happens, she ends up falling into a coma and does not have powers for quite some time. However, when Captain Marvel reawakes, she has a whole new cosmic form known as binary, where she's actually tapped into the power of a white hole. Now, for those of theoretical antithesis of a black hole, still has all the energy and mass, but rather no event horizon where light and matter can't escape. Saying that she's tapped into the power of a white hole is basically now making her one of the most powerful characters and definitely the most powerful Avengers that we've got on where she doesn't rank up into the top tier of celestial beings. You won't put her on a level with, say, the Living Tribunal, maybe even not as powerful as, say, Kang is outside of time, definitely not as powerful as Eternity that we saw at the end of Thor, Love, and Thunder. But as far as members of the Avengers and who's left, she is going to be the most powerful one. And when you put her on a team alongside, say, someone like Sam Wilson's Captain America or even Shuri, I'm they pale go back. in comparison to the amount of power go back that to... Captain Marvel is going to have. And, of course, this puts her alongside characters like Adam Warlock that can fly and shoot lasers, oh, but she's going to be needed go for the multiverse saga, especially if they're going to be opening up and exploring her binary form as See it what applies to whatever's going on with their left, power set get, right guessing. now, and I'm assuming once they work out the whole powers interchanging them and work together, as we know from the final battle, they're all basically able to control what they're doing in the fight sequence. I think that's ultimately what's going to be responsible for opening up Captain Marvel's binary form. I do not think that we will see Rogue during this film. Sorry guys, I'm trying to also watch my um, YouTube videos of Kamala Khan and all of them. Timo Kern, hot summer sale, up to 90% off. Come and shop on Timo now. Recently I found this awesome game with great graphics. They're incredible. Check out this one, Eloise. Marvel is going to have, and of course, this puts her alongside characters like Adam Warlock that can fly and shoot lasers, but she's going to be needed for the multiverse saga, especially if they're going to be opening up and exploring her binary form as it applies to whatever's going on with their power set in the Marvels right now. And I'm assuming once they work out the whole powers interchanging them and work together, as we know from the final battle, they're all basically able to control what they're doing in the fight sequence. I think that's ultimately what's going to be responsible for opening up Captain Marvel's right, binary so form. I do not think that have left to kill. Only got zone, one left. that Rogue taking her powers is going to leave break her for world. any significant amount of time or break contribute her. to that. I know that that is a huge part of the backstory for why Rogue is the way she is, why Captain Marvel is the way she is. We were hoping we'd see that on screen. I don't think it's totally necessary, especially considering we know we aren't going to see mutants for quite some time. But guys, to recap, the trailer is dropping tomorrow night late basically the exact same time that they drop these episodes of secret invasion so if you're staying up it'll be out i will also do an easter egg breakdown here at the channel let me know all your thoughts and comments down below are you excited to see this sort of power out of captain marvel what do you expect from this film i'm all ears quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go all right guys we have just a week left to the finale of secret invasion we will be giving away the next playstation 5 here it marks the third or the fourth one either way all you got to do to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply for the giveaways of the channel. Super simple. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber. Then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All we do is at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. As always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael. You can find me in public places, Instagram and Twitter, at Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube. Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking this video out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.
Alright, uh, where is all this at? The end there? I don't even know how to get over there. Alright, so the next location I need to get to is actually going to be back over here, I guess. I already know what that's at. I don't even know how to get over there, I believe. Maybe this direction, maybe, or maybe this direction. Oh no. East Pool. Let's see if I can find East Pool. Is this Martha's rest? Where the heck is Martha's rest? I have no idea where Martha's rest. Martha's rest is Jaw, Travzod, Moon, Valkyrie, Crycliff, Azure's Locks, Saddle Soul, East Pool, the Dim. I don't see East Pole somewhere. So East Pole. Right there. Maybe I should travel back, maybe. Uh, there's East Pole there. So there's East Pool. It's a different East Pool. Where's Martha's Rest? Martha's Rest is right there. Okay. And then I need to go over to here to defeat that monster, I guess. Alright, so from where I'm at now, I need to go up. I'm gonna stop them from communicating with me for the rest of the night. They're actually aggravating the crap out of me, so eight hours. No more. Alright, so I'm um, well, so I gotta go backwards, I guess. Okay, yeah, and then just go downward. Take a left. Go in the right direction.
should have turned right there. I can go around this way, I guess. I think. Can't really see though. I can run this way. Oh shit, here's a big boss. Sheesh. I hope I could defeat this guy.
killed. That sucks. I was, almost had him too. What the flip? That sucked. Don't tell me I gotta go all the way over there again. That's gonna flip and suck. Why the heck am I gonna travel that direction? So this is probably the closest I can go. I gotta run through this junk again. I'm gonna listen to some stories just to keep my mind at ease. Here I am, Detective Major, preparing to interview Sean. She is immediately very kind with Sean, saying it's nice to meet him, asking if he's okay. Getting coffee. All right, love it. All right, we're going through a lot, okay? A whole lot. So, I talked to him. Okay, so, I want to touch base about a few things. Um, boy, she's got a, a beautiful heart, doesn't she? It sounds like, she does. It sounds like um, there was a lot of maybe reading the Bible with her and looks like you were trying to find your walk, your walk with Christ there. Am I, am I right? Okay. And wow, does she know her stuff when it comes to that, doesn't she? Yeah, she's on the case all the time, which is good. Yeah, it is. It is. Here's what I know, okay? I know that sometimes good people do stupid things, and sometimes things kind of just explode. One bad thing kind of turns into another bad thing. So here's the deal, Sean, and I'm, I'm Kim. You can just call me Kim, okay? It, I don't think we can really be defined by a little block of time in our life, all right? Um, we can we can make mistakes, and we're not going to be defined by that. Sometimes things just happen. Sometimes good people do stupid things. Major has already separated Sean from his actions, setting a scene where he can still think of himself as a good person who just happened to do a few bad things. Her compassionate tone may seem like such a small thing, but research shows establishing a friendly foundation can be absolutely vital to the success of these interviews. A study done in the mid 2010s interviewed 34 interrogators. Let's see if I can defeat this guy this time. Terrorism suspects to find out which strategies were most effective in gaining information. Trump's 14 times more likely to occur early when a rapport building approach was used. Confessions were four times more likely when interrogators struck a neutral and respectful stance. Neutral and respectful are the perfect words to describe how major approaches this daunting interrogation. I appreciate your candidness. I appreciate your openness. That you've already, that you've already been trying to explain some things. Um, it looks like you know you have a conscience. You feel you have feelings. I can see that. So you tear up when I came in. So. The detective uses positive reinforcement to brace Sean on the behavior she wants him to exhibit more of. Hearing that she sees him as an honest and good-hearted person with a conscience will make him want to live up to that image, even though the detective probably doesn't really hold those opinions up. Listen as she cries to see if Sean holds any remorse, offering him the perfect chance to say he's sorry. I could say something to her, what would you tell her? I wasn't paying attention, dang it. Would you tell her you're sorry? Oh, I got defeated rather quickly and easily. There, that sucks. Well, I can see that you're hurting. Um, I can, I can see that. So I can see that you... Go ahead, what do you think? I be hurt more. Or I'm just trying to stay strong. Yeah. Not again. The way Major prompts and comforts Sean feels almost like the way he'd speak to a child. And although he half-heartedly agreed that he was sorry when asked, his next words, a response to being reminded how religious and strict Jane was in her values. 
shows that in his mind, his actions were still at least somewhat justified. Yeah, she doesn't do the phone, you know, exchange of phone numbers, she can't come in her apartment. She's she's pretty strong on that. Let me ask you this. She was helping another human. Be honest. For her sake, be honest. She's torn. A little bit above. Far away. I know she does. Maybe not. Because she's already dealt with a lot in the past few days of dealing with the loss. And that's a lot of one reason why she said she wanted to marry me because she is. John goes on to confess that he found Jane more intriguing because of how much she pushed him away. He admits he hit her once and says she flipped out, but then tries to downplay the severity of the strike. Well, I don't know if it's a tap or a her, right? But I think sometimes when things get out of control, sometimes stuff happens like that, right? Oh, no. No way it don't get out of control. The further we dig into Sean's story, the less this statement that things don't normally get out of control holds up. At this point, Major makes an effort to differentiate Sean from the other bad guys she usually speaks with. When you say that she's torn, when I'm looking at you, I, I, I can kind of see in. Sometimes I talk to people who... Uh, you, can't, you can't see in somebody. They don't have a conscience. When I'm looking at you... You, you have feelings. You have, you have some feelings. Yeah. Uh, I can see them. The interrogator couches her negative statements within a positive buildup to make them more palatable and lessen the chance of Sean going on the defensive. Here's what I'm seeing with you. One of your strong points is, is you kind of are stand up. Like, you might make mistakes, but you don't want to hold your mistakes inside. In this situation, the whole thing is a mistake. I mean, forcing yourself on somebody to have so I don't want to is a mistake, right? But Sean Dodge is just a bizarre rant that essentially sounds like he's trying to imply a common thought process of simple users. She was asking for it. Oh, that's It's not her fault, and 
that's where the man up thing is. You're you're a manly guy. You're that, that's that's the piece of you that's what, that is. There's a good piece there. The guy that stands up to says that says I did what I did with the mom. She didn't deserve that, and that I want her to be okay. For her for her to be able to put value on it, to 100% honesty is there. He did what? Needed that. Okay, and, that, and that's honesty. Don't and don't feel like, hey, if you if you have a thought like that, it's a. Studies show that the fear experienced by a victim during the actual assault is immediately replaced by guilt and self-blame. With this effect being the hardest to overcome specifically for women with strict religious backgrounds condemning non-marital relations. This is exactly the sort of person Jane was. And so in addition to looking for more confession out of Sean, Major also wants closure for Jane in the form of her abuser explicitly saying that he forced and completely took advantage of her against her will. But as we're seeing, Sean can't quite commit to saying he was fooling the wrong here. Check and make sure, hey, but I believe me. I got them all. Look at me. I need your help. Okay? I need your help. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not really your side. We're going to help it. We're going to ask you for hunts, your help here. And I did. Okay? Good. Are you hearing me okay? Are you understanding me when I talk? Can you help me? The major remains firm, letting Sean know that the truth will eventually catch up to him. But interestingly, instead of intimidating him with a demand that he reveal where Elizabeth is, she gives him a small feeling of power by sincerely requesting his help. Sean is, of course, unwilling to come right out and say what he did at first, but the interrogator keeps appealing to the 
All right, so, um, yeah. I'm actually going to stop here for the hunt, and I'm going to start back up on the story. So I'm going to turn off this game, this thing, and make sure I can go to the next.